smoke is quieting down. Seems like we've got to a lot of the smoke. Dub, you got smoke? Ah, oh, man, y'all. <laughs> this is crazy. We got smoke, all right? So I'm going to break down the spaces. You know, Imani held last night with, uh, it was called Messy E. And it also changed to Rocky Miss Gang, to Rocky Come Back Home. But what is she really, if, but what is she really as a fan know, to sorry for what? You know, basically, it was titled multiple things, different times. You know, Rocky Thunder has been on spaces the last few months coming at Joe Budden every chance she gets. From letting people know she put him on to mediating his beefs and, and being the one who, who takes the short end of the stick, you know, putting industry plays together and, you know, not getting her credit. You know, Joe Budden, he took part in the mess on Spaces last night and got down to the bottom of it all, it seemed. But Rocky wasn't really left, you know, much in a great light, you know, to everybody that's watching on. So I'm going to give you all the clips and break this down piece by piece. You feel me? And like I said, Rocky has been on Spaces the last few months coming at Joe Budden. So, this would have been her time to shine in many different ways. But look at the files. No consensus, though, of this whole, quote unquote, uh, piecing up shit from people that we know in the industry, people we know in kind, both Imani and Joe. Uh, I think, well, I know they've called me and said that basically you guys were just trying to rock me to sleep so that uh, to put a pause on anything disparaging that I have to say about either one of you guys so you guys can make it to the next level. I'm just telling you what it is. That is what's, what's 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 the next level? And me apologizing don't really do no benefit for me. Well, not necessarily you and Monty. They said that he was running the play for Joe because Joe would never be man enough to apologize for all of the things that he's done in his lifetime. So, I'll apologize. What what have I done? <sighs> mm. Like I don't say that because I'm I'm tired of being accused of being a gaslighter, but. When niggas be mad at me, I honestly don't know what niggas be mad at. I'm, I'm such an angel. What happened? <laughs> We're gonna leave it right there, Joe. See, see what You're happens. So you can't say what no, he did. No, in all honesty, it, it it involves multiple people, so I I don't think with respect to them, I'm gonna just leave that alone. And one day, maybe privately, or maybe not. Okay. Okay. So is your beef not with him, but just the situation? It was a collective. A Western beef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, that didn't really say much of nothing. But that was, that Do was we have bad. any more mess tomorrow? No, she said now is not the time or or the space. And, and as much as I'm with the shenanigans, then... Yeah, now it's not the time. Oh. Space. And, 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 <laughs> and, and, and can I just say, can I just say to clear this up? I do not have uh, planned out conversations with Joe or anybody about what I'm going to do. Uh, typically, I end up doing shit and I walk and see niggas and niggas make fun of me for the shit that I do. So uh, it was only, um, I think it was Joe came in a room that Danny and I was in. He was like, oh, me and Rocky don't have beef, blah, blah, blah. He gave me a fake compliment. And then two days later, you came in with the apology. So the general consensus was that was the setup. Yeah, but I apologized way before that on 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 Twitter and everywhere else. We apologize, Floyd. I was saying you don't have a beef with me to counter your weeks and weeks and weeks of lying about beef that you have with me. I'm lying about beef with you, Joe. Dog. You know what it is? Do you know how many lies I've Joe heard you me. say Joe in the past, however many weeks, no. but I just let it go because adult. All right now, man. This is This is wild. Now, I thought something similar to what Rocky was saying about Imani's apology. You know, when he apologized around that time, Rocky was uh, saying a lot about Melissa Ford, saying that she wasn't good on the pod. So I thought E would probably line up a play to apologize to Rocky, butter her up, and then maybe start throwing his own spaces and then Rocky would come to his spaces and then she would pos possibly get rocked to sleep and Melissa Ford would 
be on the stage to challenge her claims. Like that was a narrative that I thought in my head would probably come true. Partial of it did come true. Imani did apologize, butted up Rocky. He did bring her to her to his spaces. She came over there willingly, but Melissa Ford wasn't there. That was the only part of my thing that was wrong, but or could have been wrong. But it was it was pretty good, you know. So. Um, that was a narrative that I had in my head, but you know, Mel is on vacation now, so she doesn't have time for the peasantry bullcrap, you know, on spaces. I'm sure she was sipping her, her wine and all of that, like in a Delta skybox or something. She was chilling. Salutes to Mel, right? However, Imani does have a point, right? What level would he get to by apologizing to Rocky? And that goes for Joe Budden too. Like, what would they get out of this, right? For them, like, is Rocky stopping them from get from getting to the next level, right? What secrets do you hold, Rocky, that would that could hinder them from going to the next level in life? I mean, Joe tells people everything about himself, and Imani is pretty transparent as well. So continuing to say that people are hitting you up to tell you that Joe is putting plays together to be friends with you again, and for you not to tell the secrets is wild. And it basically, it looks like, you know, you're just holding lies and it could seem like a conspiracy you know if you don't at least show one of those cards or you know one of these secrets that you hold you know um and people will start to deem you crazy if you don't give it up a little bit right to some point right you, you, you gotta get your point across now joe budden asked her what happened and rocky said it involves multiple people but we already know who the multiple people are right? Tahiri, you know, the Yandies, all the people from Love and Hip Hop, right? All the people that was around at that time, right? So you might as well just let people know what it is, right? When when Rocky said it's not the time on, or the space, right? Joe said, you know, I'm with the shenanigans right now. But she said it's not the space, you know, for it. But he was very condescending and jokey when he said that. I thought that would have set her off, but it didn't. Rocky has said, you know, she is media trained many times on spaces. But do you think this is a time where she used her media trained tactics and did the right thing? Or do you think Rocky should have let him have it? I think she should have fought back a bit more, especially when Joe told her she doesn't have a beef with him. You feel me? And has been lying about the beef on spaces for weeks. You know, I thought I thought that would have. You know, pulled it out of her, right? He lined her up in many ways to take the bait, but she didn't. So what is Rocky waiting for? You know, it's starting to look bad for Rocky because all she is starting to do is explain a whole lot of nothing. And I'll be back with part two so we can analyze this a bit more and get to the bottom of this. If you have any files that you would like to produce on this topic, please DM me on X at the files with dub. Also, check out my podcast. We are on episode four and got more to come. The Spaces Beef is spicy and I'll be delivering it to your ears. And we will be back with the files. Yeah. My guy, Dub, too. That's my man, though. Gang, gang. That's my man, big dub.